Kevin Shanholzer says Biden hasn't busted anything. He's barely awake. Okay, so we're going to start this video one more time, okay? From the top. Click. All right. Welcome back to Black Bear News, where everything is connected. Um, and we are covering climate change news of the day. Today, I'm going to do a longer video, <laughs> especially because if I keep having to start it over, it's just going to get really long. Um, I'm going to do a longer video today. Uh... And I will leave the live stream up on Rockfin for all to watch. I will put the, the live stream on YouTube on private afterwards and upload a segment later. And if you guys can um, deal with that, that's what's going to be happening. So yeah, no, no Neo today. I'm just doing a long li live stream today. The live stream, the entire live stream will be on Rockfin to watch. Uh, it will not be available later on YouTube. That's all I'm trying to say. All right, I started the video like eight times. How's that? It only took me four minutes to start the video. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to just do one video because this is mostly about Biden, most of this, the subjects, subject matter. Uh, and because of the of the bunk start, I kind of I kind of lost what I was going to talk about <laughs> right at the top. But anyways, that's how it goes. Um, anyways, we have many watching on Rockfin. That is always good. Please join me on Rockfin, R-O-K-F-I-N dot com. Yeah, all you have to do, Irk1, is just refresh the screen. It should be fine. Um, let's see if anything else is going to work today. It, it might be one of those days where nothing works. I was all excited for this video. You know, I, I get everything together early I'm like yeah this is gonna be great and then I just have I run into a wall of ridiculous uh, technical problems so you know always good always fun Um, it's good tweet from Jason Hickle. Starting off your stream of doom, uh, or whatever stream of real, we'll call it reality on our present climate trajectory, 30 to 50% of plant and animal species will be exterminated this century. I think that's awful low. 30 to 50, only 30 to 50 percent? For some reason, the question of whether our non-human relatives have a right to exist is not part of our discourse. Uh, yeah, real, real, real story there. Um, someone uh, replies, uh, quote unquote, right to exist is putting it mildly. I'm just going to come out and say it. There's no way 8 to 10 billion people make it over the 2100 line with half of the plants and insects insects at risk of extinction. No way. We're sawing through the trunk of the tree of life. We will fall too. And I'm going to put that a lot earlier than 2100. There's no way 8 to 10 billion people make it to 2050. No way. That's just... That's just a big fat no. The, you know, the number might differ in various ways. You know, anywhere between the, uh, anywhere between uh, the, uh, you know, eight billion and 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 whatever it's going to end up at twenty fifty. Uh, 
and how, you know, <clears throat> what is life going to be like, right? What's the quality of life in 2050 is a really good question to ask yourself. What is the quality of life in 2050? Prob my, my guess is going to be probably not very good. <clears throat> um, probably not very happy times. I'm sorry to say that. I don't take pleasure in saying that. Uh, let's move on to this from Go Green. <clears throat> let's put our heart and soul into stopping this madness. One of the most beautiful places on earth, and Biden wants to log on uh, almost 4,000 acres in Kootenai, Kootenai National Forest. hope I'm saying that correctly. Including clear-cutting of at least 579 acres of trees, hundreds of years old. Hashtag climate, Greta Thunberg, tell the world. So let's, let's read this article from Truthout. Biden may approve logging an old growth forest, heightening climate risks. Hold on one second, guys. Let me make sure that everything is still correct. <laughs> yes, Biden wants to drop some logs. That's right. That is well put. <clears throat> um, yeah, Biden may approve logging a, an old growth forest, heightening climate risks. So let's look at this. <clears throat> if approved, the Trump era project would be a reversal. What? What's that you say? Of Biden's stated commitment to preserve federal land and waters. Oh, no. You mean he's going back on his promises? that he made when he was campaigning oh who could have seen this coming oh we were going to push him left oh this it was going to be you know it wasn't going to be as bad as you're saying and literally everything that he does every you know sh stupid shape-shifting horrible thing that he's done already already two months into his presidency you know, the, I, I don't hear nearly the outcry uh, from the libs as I do, for, you know, for, about Trump. Oh, my God, he's killing the planet. Oh, my God, he does, you know, he's a climate denier. Oh, my God, he's, gonna, he's taking us over the falls. He's the worst ever. He's, he's going to start World War III. Right? You know, when uh, every time Trump did something, you know, uh, militaristic, like bomb Syria, which Biden just did. Oh my God, here comes World War III. We're going over the falls. Oh, this lunatic has the nuclear codes. Well, yeah, this uh, doddering old man who doesn't know what he's doing, who's, you know, surrounded by a bunch of other doddering old people that barely know what's going on. He has the nuclear codes. Oh, but where's that? Where's the, where's the outrage? Where's the crying? Oh, the, you know, the pearl clutching. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> the Biden administration is a single regulatory leap away from green lighting the logging of hundreds of acres of old growth forest in Montana. If approved, the U.S. Forest Service Black Ram Project. Catchy. Uh, not as catchy as Black Bear News, but Black Ram, the Black Ram Project would authorize commercial harvesting on 3,904 acres in the Kootenai National Forest, including the clear-cutting of at least 579 acres of trees that are hundreds of years old. On top of potentially violating the National Environmental Policy Act, carrying out the Trump-era project would undermine at least three major Biden administration commitments. Tackling the climate crisis, preserving 30% of federal land, and waters by 2030, and preventing future outbreaks of disease transmitted from animals or uh, zoonoses like COVID-19. The Kootenai National Forest is in the northwestern corner of the state. Swaths of its land are still covered in 600 to 800-year-old 
uh, subalpine fir, western larch, and spruce trees which ascend from the headwaters of the Yak River. The ecosystem serves as a vital corridor for spe species such as wolves, lynx, wolverines, mountain goats, and grizzly bears. Reefs of clouds drape themselves over its peak, and artisan, uh, artesian sorry, seeps and uh, sp springs of percolate, springs percolate, ah, just can't even read the sentence. Artesian seeps and springs percolate out of the steep east-facing mountain wall Home to sensitive and threatened plants, local activist Rick Bass wrote in the Los Angeles Times in 2002, describing the Yak Valley specifically. Wild duck nests in the hanging marshes, salamanders wriggle beneath rotting logs, and the area is favored by one of only two breeding female grizzly bears known to be left on the entire two million acre Kootenai National Forest. According to the Forest Service's Environmental assessment, the Black Ram Project was first publicly proposed in 2017 as, and is intended to maintain or improve the forest's resilience to disturbances such as drought, insect, and disease outbreaks and wildfires. <clears throat> but the project doesn't reduce the potential for high-intensity fires. Aaron Peterson, executive director of the conservation group Yak Valley Forest Council, told Truthout. Logging as fire prevention Grew popular during the Trump administration. In August 2019, for example, Senator Dianne Feinstein and Senator Steve Raines introduced bipartisan logging leg legislation proposed to speed up the permitting process for cutting down trees in national forests to protect communities from wildfires. In contrast with the indigenous practice of controlled burns, logging can actually make things worse. According to a 2016 Study in ecosphere in forests where trees have been removed by logging fires burn hotter and faster since the presence of fewer trees can promote the spread of invasive and highly combustible grasses, thus creating hotter, drier, and windier conditions. We're of the mind that we, could, we should be cutting more small diameter trees closer to settlements of humans, not miles and miles and miles into the backcountry, Peterson said. These are old 600 to 800 year old trees doing their job all right hold on let me check something real quick guys hold on one second okay Um, forests pull an estimated one quarter of all human generated carbon dioxide emissions from the atmosphere each year <clears throat> and the larger the tree the more carbon it can store a study on six national forests in Oregon suggests trees with trunks 21 inches in diameter or greater make up 3% of those forests but store 42% of above ground Carbon. Did you all know that? Did you know? Uh, while tree planting initiatives have become popular action among environmental groups, protecting and restoring existing forests rarely attracts the same level of support. Beverly Law, Professor Emeritus at Oregon State University, co-wrote in the conversation. In comments to the Forest Service, Submitted in August 2019, the, the Kootenai tribe, tribe of Iowa, one of the indigenous groups that in 1855 was granted fishing, hunting, and gathering rights within what is now the Kootenai National Forest, but is not currently able to exercise it, noted its support for some elements of the Black Ram project. But it also pointed out that the Forest Service was overly vague about the project's potentially negative impacts, such as the possible snowball effect of opening new roads in old growth areas. Because that's, you know, you know what new roads bring? Humans. More humans. The tribe's fish and wildlife director, Sue Ireland, did not respond to Truthout's request for comment ahead of press time. In January, the Forest Service responded to 69 issues raised in public comment 
objecting to the pro project and in doing so effectively dismissed those comments, said Ted Zukoski, an attorney for the Center of Biological Diversity. Their response to signal that the project will advance following the issuance of a final biological opinion from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife on the project's likely impact or lack thereof on endangered grizzlies. Zukowski said that the project is at odds with two of President Biden's executive orders. You don't say. EO uh, 13990, Protecting Public Health and the Environment, and EO 14008, Tackling the Climate Crisis at Home and Abroad. The science is clear that safeguarding old forests and allowing forests to grow older, as compared with logging and planting tree seedlings, provide significant natural carbon storage benefits, Zukowski told Truthout. What's going on, Biden? I, I want to say that I care. I care about the environment. Climate, climate change is an important subject. And uh, it's one we have to take seriously. And, and it's a, it's a, it's a, I, uh, it's a paramount that we uh, tackle climate change. Uh, there's, we can't, we got to go big. I woke up this morning with a with a big cramp in my back. Uh, United States Department of Agriculture, which houses the Forest Service, has a long history of managing trees as commodity crops and promoting clear cutting and other practices that maximize yield and profit. As Oregon Public Radio's Aaron Scott has reported on extensively. By the mid-1980s, timber was the highest-valued crop in the U.S., and the Forest Service was tasked with selling it. The land that is now known as the Kootenai National Forest has been long impacted by that approach. In 2006, an anonymous female member of the Confederated Salish and Kootenai tribes responded to a survey for a, a dissertation on tribal forest management by Victoria Lynn Yazzie. The woods are no longer an interest to me, the anonymous tribal member wrote. Its sites are devastating. The clear cuts have left nothing but thistle, weeds, and it's not pleasant to see how machinery tore up vast areas. I don't, I don't enjoy seeing this. <clears throat> but conservation groups working in collaboration with tribes in some cases have managed to restore and preserve many of these ecosystems such that the Kootenai region is still what climate activist Bill McKibben describes as one of the wildest places remaining in the lower 48 states. There are now estimated <coughs> excuse me, 24 grizzly bears in the Yak Valley, including four or five females up from the two bass reported in 2002. <clears throat> Though one was brutally killed in November 2020, her paws skinned and partially mu mutilated, dumped in a driveway. Heartbreaking in its own right, that's the additional reason the Black Ram Project undercuts Biden's public health efforts. In two major reports released in 2020, one by the World Wildlife Fund and the other by members of the Intergovernmental Science Policy Platform on Biodiversity and Ecosystem Services, researchers warned that six, 638, sorry, 631,000 to 827,000 uh Unknown viruses, that's a lot of viruses, in nature could still infect people. And that stopping deforestation and minimizing opportunities for the transfer of pathogens between wild animals and people is key to preventing the next major outbreak of a disease. That's, all, that's uh, you know, a really good reason to stay your ass at home. Um, <clears throat> You know, I know we all want to be woodsmen and uh, go where no no people go very often or go before. I know we all want to do all that stuff. But the, the less we can impact or impinge on the, the wild forest areas that we have left, the less we can do that, the better.
Go find a nice little nature trail somewhere and, and hike it. <laughs> Stay your ass out of the forest. <clears throat> Um, Peterson says he's not sure about the zoonotic risks of disease from bears in the Yak Valley. What he does know from experience is that an open road is an invitation to human bear conflict. More roads, more humans, more humans, more wildlife devastation, etc. Which could include more violent incidents of poaching, like what happened in November. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, <clears throat> now that Tom Vilsack has been confirmed as head of the USDA, Zukowski says he remains hopeful that the agency might embrace climate and ecological science by blocking the timber sale in, in the Yak Valley which Vilsack has the full authority to do. Secretary Vilsack's review of the Black Ram logging project will be a major test of whether the secretary will follow the president's climate and conservation direction or will continue liquidating old forests following the Trump blueprint. But Vilsack's record on logging doesn't inspire total confidence. As Secretary of Agriculture during the Obama administration, Vilsack signed a directive granting himself sole power what? To make decisions on harvesting timber in roadless areas. Well, that doesn't sound very good. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make myself all-powerful overseer of the harvesting of timber in roadless areas. That's me, Tom Vilsack. Awesome. Shortly thereafter, allowed the clear-cutting of 381 acres of road rainforest in Alaska's Tongass National Forest. This is under the Obama administration. So do you really think Biden is going to do anything different or much different from the Obama administration? It's going to be, it's a whole new it's a whole new time. Nah. It is the judgment of the US Forest Service that the sale is critical critical to keep a local timber timber mill, excuse me open and to protect jobs associated with that mill jobs we need uh jobs we got to cut these trees guys because jobs all righty this time around vilsack's usda might consider creating jobs by establishing a federal forest carbon reserve system that protects remaining mature and old forests across the national forest system, including old growth in the Yak Valley, which, as Peterson reminds us, is currently classified as inland rainforest. If hundreds of acres can be clear-cut, it will look like Siberia, Peterson said. What's your verdict, guys? What do you think? You think, you think Biden is going to let this go through? Kevin Tui, DNC, RNC, both corporate parties. Yes, indeed. Um, Yeah. I don't know. I you know, I don't ha obviously <laughs> the 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 possibility that he Biden does not do the right thing. I don't even know if it's 50-50. 50-50. I don't I don't know if it's 50-50. I I it's probably more like 75-25. Kevin Chanholzer on Rockfin says Vilsack has formally changed his last name to Monsanto. Tom Monsanto, that's his name. 
call him lying Monsanto. Right. Uh, Kevin Chanholzer also says, humans have made me misanthropic. No offense intended, but I hate everyone. <laughs> uh, right. Erk1, brilliant. There can't be forest fires if there are no forests. 